City, we're going to head now to the suburbs where Susan Elizabeth Littlefield joins us live in Burnsville. What's going on there? Well, Reg just said no lines there, no lines here. I mean, people are in and out in five minutes. One of those voters, D. Trueblood, I just talked with her. She explained why she decided to wait till today to vote. I got a sample ballot in the mail, and the envelope differed from my mom's ballot. So it just it made me more assured that my vote was going in and going to be counted. Get this right here. In Dakota County, about two thirds of voters voted early. So very few people voting today. One of the early voters we talked with is a Somalian native who has been translating and making sure that people had rides to the polls today. We need just uh, a political uh, change. And uh, that's what we have been doing. So we don't campaign exactly for a, for a candidate, but we campaign for issues. What are the issues of concern in our neighborhood? Uh, the underfunded uh, schools, the underfunded health care, the police uh, brutality. All right, well, you know, Minnesotans don't always like to talk about politics, but we had a few people come out here and tell us why they were voting for Joe Biden, why they were voting for Donald Trump. You're going to hear more of people's opinions on that at 6 o'clock. Okay, we'll look forward to it. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth.